Hi folks, Eddie Current here. You know, for years I've done videos making fun of the bullshit belief system of creationism. And last month I did a series on the equally delusional bullshit belief system of the 9-11 truth movement. But you know, bullshit is everywhere. It's all around us. It's been for thousands of years, probably ever since some guy said, hey, you see this rock? It has magical powers. And it can be yours. Just hand over that gazelle carcass. But you know, people with bullshit belief systems are surprisingly easy to identify, I've found. They tend to do a lot of the same things. For example, I've noticed that both truthers and creationists, they like to say questions at you. Now, that's different from asking questions. Asking implies that you're interested in the answer. You actually want to learn something, you know? Like, uh, are those venereal warts or regular everyday warts? Now that would be asking a question. People who believe in bullshit, they're not looking to learn anything. They just want to dazzle you with the same tired old questions that have been answered more times than Alex Trebek. Like a, a creationist will say, well, if evolution is real, where are the transitional fossils? And by the way, the answer is in the video description down below, in case you're wondering. Or uh, a truther will say, how is it that those World Trade Center buildings just collapsed straight down like that into their own footprints? And then there are people who believe that we never went to the moon, that that was all a hoax. So they say, why are there no stars visible in the background of the footage that was supposedly shot on the moon? You know, because they heard that question somewhere, looked at the video, didn't see any stars, and they went, that's right, there are no stars there. Well, that's it. I'm convinced we never went to the moon. They don't go looking for the actual answer. And I think it's because it's so attractive to believe that we have some kind of special secret knowledge on a topic. All of a sudden, we're like, well, I know the real truth about where babies come from as an intelligent starkist. You just, you, you, you just start ignoring all of the evidence that you don't like. I mean, a, a creationist could be in prison for 10 years, and his job every day could be to put fossils in order. And as soon as he got out, he'd say, well, that was all fine, but... I really need to see a transitional fossil one of these days. It just doesn't register. Question sayers, they're like a magic eight ball in reverse. If you explain to a creationist how transitional fossils work, they come right back with a completely unrelated question. Well, yeah, but what, what about that orange that was dated to be older than the universe? I swear, you know, if there were a special fork for gouging out your eyeballs, you would need one when talking to these people. This is what it's like to talk to a question sayer. Imagine that your wife or your girlfriend were completely convinced that you're a cheater. And by the way, this could just as easily be a man. But say you came home from work and she was all, so why are you late? And you say, um, I had to get gas. Here's the receipt. It's got a date stamp on it. She goes, uh-huh. Did you know that I found women's underwear in the car? You mean the bag that's in the back seat? Yeah, we went shopping over the weekend. Uh, you also bought a belt. What's the big deal? Uh-huh. And can you explain why you've admitted to buying perfume for a woman who isn't me? Yeah, I was 10. It was for my mom's birthday. Uh-huh. And... Why is there lipstick all over your shirt? Because I work at a lipstick factory? Uh-huh. Well, let me get this straight. You've admitted to buying perfume for another woman. You come home late from work with lipstick on your shirt and panties in the back seat. What am I supposed to think here? And that's pretty much what we're dealing with. Thanks very much. Bye.